Hey, Vinny. My name is Jessica, and today I had the privilege of speaking with Donna, who thought you might be interested in this video I'm going to show you. So um, I'm just going to show you a few things that are happening on your website and things that you can do to bring in more leads organically instead of paying for those ridiculously expensive lead services. So here we are on your website and we can see you have a decent looking website. Um, pretty basic. There's not a whole lot of content on here. Um, so the rule of thumb is that your website should have a minimum on your homepage of 1500 words. And that's 150 word, approximately 150 words for every buyer intent local keyword you're trying to target. Not all companies will know the name of your business, but they know the service they're looking for. And um, in your industry, um, you guys have a bit of an advantage because emergencies happen all the time. This isn't a luxury service. So it's really important that you have the content in here and those keywords so that people can find you when they have those emergencies. And you need to make sure that you have the appropriate amount of content and the keywords on every one of your pages. You should have um, a page for every specific service that you have. And then for every service area, you should also have a page. If they have um, keywords and volume, you need to have a page dedicated to that so that you can be found in every one of your service areas. Um, Google has something called crawlers. They're like little robots and they go across the internet and they index every single one of your pages. And they're looking at your content and those keywords so that they can get your website in front of those potential customers. So without that, they're not able to index you and people aren't able to find you. If we look at your top competitor organically in your area, it is Advanced Restoration Corporation. Um... They have a decent looking website. But again, they do not have enough content. So content wise, these guys should be super easy to beat. Um, you just need to have more content and go after those buyer intent keywords. When we go into this program called AREFs, it helps us to analyze how a website is performing. And um, as you can see, your website is ranked a 0.2 out of 100. And that is 100% because of your referring domains and backlinks. You have a ridiculous amount of backlinks, over 65,000 backlinks but yet have a less than one rating. And that's because 99% of those backlinks are bad backlinks. They're spammy. They're not authoritative. Um, and Google doesn't trust them. So that these backlinks are actually hurting you. You need to disavow almost all of those backlinks and go back and get better authoritative backlinks. And because you're missing the... Um, content and keywords, you're only being indexed for four keywords. And so you're getting zero traffic to your website on, on average on a monthly basis. Now, if we look at your competition, they only have a 3.9 rating and they only have 3,750 backlinks in comparison to you, but they're ranked higher. Um, which tells you that one, a lot of these backlinks are also bad, but two, some of them are better than yours because they're ranking higher than you are, um, in Google's trust flow, that is. 
um, they have 66 key words that they're targeting. And so they're getting up on average 186 people per month. And there's actual, actually thousands of volume, um, especially in your search area and service areas. So um, you're missing out on quite a bit of organic traffic. Now, backlinks. Um, a backlink is when one website links to your website and drives traffic to your website. Google likes this because it's like a popularity contest. The more relevant and authoritative those websites are to your industry and services, the more power it's going to give you and the faster it's going to boost you up in the rankings. And you also want to make sure that they are do follows and not no follows. No follows do not give you much help, but a do follow will actually share the power of those high ranking sites with your website and help you to rank even faster. Um, and the other part that goes to this, uh, your backlinks need to um, be associated with your keywords. So your content and keyword strategy and your backlinks all work together to help you to rank. And you need these on every single one of your service pages, home pages, and service area pages so that you are found and you're the first person people are calling when they have those emergencies. Now, um, the last thing I wanted to talk to you about is something called citations. So when somebody puts a search in Google, one of the first things that may pop up are ads up here. The next thing you're going to see is the Google My Business or Google Map Pack. And your goal should be to be in the top three of this section. It's highly competitive, um, but it's a very important key to your organic leads because almost 30% of customers come straight to the maps and they don't go any further. So if you're not in the top three, you're handing those leads to your competition. So how do you get to the top three? Well, th those are citations. There are several factors, but citations is the most important. And that is the name of your business, your address, phone number, and website. And having those listed in a variety of places like Yelp, Yellow Pages, Facebook, LinkedIn, etc. And you need to have a lot more of those than your top competitor. So now if you follow these tips I've given you today, you can become number one across Google for all of your pages and keywords. And I know you're probably wondering, well, what do I do now? Well, you can either take this information I've given you and apply it yourself. And that's completely okay because this is free education. I just ask that you let me know what you thought of this video. However, if you do decide you'd like help getting some of this stuff done, go ahead and respond to my email or give me a call at the number on the screen and we can chat. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon.